What are you doing here, Doug? Two, three, four, five. I'm testing for the chlorine. Testing for the chlorine. What yeah. do you use to test for chlorine? I use the, um, the Taylor uh, 6 and one test kit. Can I zoom in on that real quick? You can. Taylor. You can. And the yellow is for the chlorine. The red is for the pH of the acid, uh -huh. muriatic acid. Okay. The green is for your alkalinity. The blue is for your uh, um, calcium hardness. And uh, the uh, white is your... Um, White, I'm sorry. White is your cal your cyanuric acid, which is for your uh, stabilizer okay. conditioner. Cyanuric uh, okay. acid, one in the same pair of sunglasses to the pool. Sure. Um, and your blue is the calcium. You have one in there for salt as well. Check your salt. I level. do not. My okay. salt test is in the truck. Got it. Um, but um, so you put a couple of couple of these drops from the yellow cab in, in the yellow five, cab. Five in of each. Five, five of each. Of the uh, number one and five of the number two in the right. small cell. And it should come up kind of uh, right up in there if you have good chlorine. Mm -hmm. And there's zero, none, not mm -hmm. a. Notice how the pool water is a little dull. Starting to. The yeah. water's a little dull, so that's not polished. And you want polished water, um, and that's more inviting then. So I'm going to check your pH here just to see where we're at. Go down 18 inches to your elbow, and that's uh, get a good sample of water right there. And then five of these one, two, three, four, five. And. Tells me if, if uh, I got so I need. So it. darker is bad in this case. Right now, what do you got see, there? See that color right there is very strong purple. Uh huh. Okay, it's an 8.0 plus. Okay. Okay, I was gonna tell you about pH. Right. Remember? Uh, you want to hear that now? Yeah, sure. Okay, pH is something that uh, it's like I, I uh, compare it to like the horses in the barn. Ooh. You let the horses out of the barn. There's no point in closing the gate. They're gone, right? right? Okay, when your water hits 8.0, it's already done its damage. So to add acid to it is now going to help it from that point forward. But the damage is already done. See, muriatic acid... What do you mean damage? Damage to what? Damage to the to surface of your pool. Oh. What happens is, what muriatic acid does is it um, coagulates the, ca the mineral in the water, which is the dirt, the mm -hmm. dust the dust devils that water gets in your water. Okay, it coagulates, it makes it act like water instead of being the rock that it is. So when dust or dirt, it's really a rock, the mountain, it's all the same, it's calcium. When it gets in your water, it's hard water. It's like the water on your mirror in the bathroom or on your fixtures, that white stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, in a, a plastered pool, it looks gray on the bottom or white on your tile, it builds up. And uh, the, the damage is, when I say the damage is done, what happens is when your water test reaches 8.0, it turns to the rock that it is, the, the mineral. It turns to the rock and it clings to that water line and it drops like a Milky Way across that pool, all of it. All the calcium. So will drops. it stain the pool? Or it will it, stain your pool. What, is, what kind of, will you get like spots or something? Or? Well, it, it'll be like gray on a, on a white plaster pool. It'll be like gray. It'll look dirty. Okay. It'll stain it. Okay. It drops like the rock that it is and attaches itself to the bottom of the pool and to the water line. It's that white, unsightly stuff that builds up. So there's no way to fix this damage then? Well, what happens is, see, water coming out of the tap is about four to 600 parts per million. Okay, so this is this That's calcium. white stuff is the calcium. That white stuff that. is calcium. That's from not having. Uh, that's from your water reaching. See, on a pebble tech, it's supposed to be seven four seven two seven four. Mm -hmm. On a plaster pool, seven four seven six. Mm -hmm. Now, when it reaches seven 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 eight eight zero, boom! That that uh, mineral turns to the rock that it is. For instance, if you're in a water chemistry class, looking at um, water going through a clear tube, you can see right through it. And it's got minerals in it, because, and it's got muriatic acid present in that water. Now, if you continue to watch it, it's got a vent tube on it, and it's breathing. And what will happen is it'll turn so cloudy from that mineral when that acid goes away that you can't even see through it. And then you continue to watch it without doing anything, and it'll go crystal clear again. Now, how does it do that? It's because that mineral... As soon as it hit 8.0 with no muriatic acid present, it dropped like the rock that it is, and it clings to the water line or to the bottom of the pool. So now what can you do to get rid of that white stuff over there? That uh, has to be taken off by, um, in a, like, sandblasting. It's a, um, you have to chisel it off. It's a rock. Uh, it, there's an Excalibur machine that hooks on the side of the pool, and it glass beads 
blasts your tile without damaging your tile and it blasts that mineral off of your tile. Now, how do you keep it from collecting like that? You keep your pH, add acid to your water, keep it down where it's supposed to be, 7274 on a Pebble Tech, 7476 on a plastered pool. You keep it down there and you will never have that stuff building up. Water that um, has too much mineral in it, see when you backwash, that mineral is acting like water. When you backwash, out it goes because it's acting like water. You see? So that's why it's important to backwash. With a sand filter, you can do that. You backwash and out it goes. And then your water leveler adds more fresh water and it keeps that mineral down. Now, if you don't backwash, what happens is that mineral count can raises, keeps going up, and it's like doing a belly flop on your face when you dive in that water. It's hard water and it feels terrible on you. If you were to dive into that pool and it's not hard water, it is nice and enjoyable to dive into that water. It's inviting and it's, it feels good on you. The big difference between hard water and soft water. Mm -hmm. So keeping that mineral acting like water, keeping it down 7274 with that muriatic acid allows you to backwash it and that's what takes that mineral out of the water. Other than that, there's no way to get that mineral out of that water. There's okay, no chemical so, or filter. Let's see, let's pause it real quick.